You say you don't have a horse in the race, <laughs> but the, ar the article ends by you saying, but look, at this is going to happen in yeah. one way or another. Right. So is, um, is one of the things you were trying to do to really shine a light on the fact that if this is going to happen, look, here's what we can do or here's what people can do to make it as safe as possible. Mm -hmm. Is that fair? Well, I think that is fair. I think, it, I think, you know, you have to go back to the first oil well, which was drilled in Pennsylvania in Titusville. And I went there for the story because I was driving from Indiana where I live and I'd stop in to see different sites. You go to Titusville, PA, and you say, look, we got to stop this. You know, we don't know what's going to happen with this oil. This oil is going to poison our water, it's going to poison our ground, it's going to do all kinds of things. Let's stop now. <laughs> well, you know, I'm not sure what the world would be, but it would surely not be the one we live in. Uh, petroleum changed us in uh, deep and impressive ways and, and ways that matter. Now, will fracking do that? My sense is that uh, fracking will be uh, about a 30 to 40 year transition period. They will get better and better. It, uh, really at going into thinner pieces of shale. They will go and get better and better at controlling flowback spills. And, and that will occur with a, a population that's willing to embrace regulation. And you know, Pennsylvania is a, its own world. And across the border is this other world of New York. One state, highly regulatory. The other one doesn't regulate a single water well in that state. And they're, you know, our country is a pushpin of wells. It's hard to believe. No, nothing. There's no, and it's right on their DEP website that they don't regulate it. They make recommendations, but you're talking about methane leaks and whatnot with fracking. These wells are, uh, and that was farmers and small, you know, the s people in small towns who didn't want the government to come in and tell them how to build wells. Now, this is part of the inheritance of fracking. So, you know, sometimes you think of America as 50 countries, you know, 50 different, you know, colonies, I suppose, but. And uh, this is one thing where I think you really sense that, that very close, Pencil Western, Eastern Pennsylvania is a energy corridor. And uh, Western New York, Eastern New York is a, it's a park. <laughs> and it's a beautiful park where people have invested a lot in that, in, in the sense that it'll stay that way. And that becomes part of the battle. Now, I, I, th I think that, you know, the question is, uh, will it last? And uh, I think, all, it's, it only behooves the industry to do it better and to not have to pay for cleanup. And that's what they're saying. And in some ways, I think they're inviting regulation, some regulation. They have, they have a little now uh, because they just want to get the gas. And, and, and they want to create it, and they really do, I think, want to create an export market to China. Yep. And uh, these things are uh, arguable. I mean, people. Anti-frackers hate the idea of exporting liquefied natural gas because it's uh, not a green uh, process. But I mean, imagine, you know, this era we've lived in where we have really, we're going to have an export market to China. I mean, I tell this to uh, people and their eyes get big and, I, and then they get, you know, I have to tell them, well, that, you know, you're putting it on a boat, you're dieseling it over to China, you're liquefying it, which is expensive. Uh, uh, you know, you're still burning natural gas, which does produce greenhouse gases. So. You know, it's not the, that's not the answer, but it's certain, like you'd say this to an anti-fracker, and they say, see, that's our point. There is no export market, we shouldn't do it. But you say this to, I think, to the average American, and they've heard for 10 years that we don't have, you know, about this imbalance in trade, yep. changes everything, so. It's about belief, I mean, the same fact means t different things to different people.